All right, today's Tuesday tidbit is what is an HOA? So HOA stands for Homeowners Association. Whenever you buy a property in a condo or a townhome, you're gonna be immediately part of an HOA. HOA is a group of homeowners basically agreeing to pool resources. That's really what an HOA is. They're pooling resources to pay insurance companies to cover the insurance for the outside of the complex, to maintain the building, to take care of the landscaping, any pool maintenance or tennis court maintenance, um, shovel sidewalks, trim bushes, uh, pooling resources to pay trash collectors or other various utilities. Oftentimes, uh, water may be included or gas might be included um, with your HOA dues. So it's really a group of homeowners agreeing to come together to pool resources. The other piece of that is, and, and the part that people really associate with an HOA is the covenants. So not only do they pool resources, but they also come together and agree on a set of terms and regulations within the HOA. So if you ever lived in an HOA and you get a you know, nasty gram in the mail, I actually, one of my tenants just received one on one of my houses for unsightly conditions. They had a whole bunch of stuff stacked up against the side of the townhome. The HOA says, yeah, no, you can't have that. Um, so it's not just homeowners are coming together to pool resources and to pay contractors on behalf of that condo complex, that townhome complex, but also agreeing to come to um, an agreement on what kind of guidelines are we going to enforce. When an HOA is first being created, they have to come up with what is their architectural review process going to be? What kind of requirements do they have regarding um, how many people can live in the house? How many pets can live in the house? How heavy can the pets be? All that stuff is from the original HOA inception, and then amendments to those HOA guidelines as they go along. So that's what an HOA is. That's what their purpose serves. They have both advantages and disadvantages. Um, and if you're ever buying a property that's not a condo or townhome, it still belongs to an HOA. Um, don't cut any corners. Make sure you're reading those HOA covenants as well. Um, it's going to have regar guidelines regarding what kind of paint color can you use? Um, what kind of shingles can you get on your house? All stuff that you need to pay attention to. So hope that helps. Thanks. See you next Tuesday.